to say hallelujah. I can offer somebody a smile and a high five and you tell them hallelujah. Come on, tell them hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, tell them hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, tell them hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. What I want to say that indeed, as I was explaining just before we prayed for the offering, is that one time, one time my appearance goes an accident and, 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 and I speak to this, my father is not yet fully recovered from it because he's still right now on diapers and he was a strong man. He is still being taken care of by a nurse aid help. He can't walk, he's on a wheelchair. And again, uh, he is also, he lost his memory. He can't remember what transferred. Uh, sometimes we, I know, I know right now you feel you don't, you don't have anything in the pocket, you know, you're like, everybody's having bread, everybody's in, you know, I'm forsaken, I feel like committing suicide, and you don't see anything to thank God for. I want to challenge you this morning, even having a brain, even if you are getting 06, I've seen right now, even give my father a newspaper, he can't read. And he used to be, he was a name material. He, he actually schooled in Jiris. And the son also took over. He schooled it there. So that means he was a bright boy, a bright man. But right now he can't even read a newspaper. I want to encourage you. If you are feeling like, eh, I won't commit suicide. Nobody's caring. Nobody loves me. No, no, no. Even if, just stop there. Just think, you can see, you can hear, you can think, you can feel and do. You have the brain that is, you know, at least atakama, atakama hujuangi hesabu vizuri. You can add one plus one. You have not said it is three. You know it is two. At least you're okay. I, I want to tell you that is something that you need to thank God for. Amen. Because my father right now, he can't literally do anything practical. He can't, if you can't even have what we call a mature conversation. Mature conversation is where you, eh, I go, eh, eh, urioku no muradi nambe, eh, na kia kaigua gadi kire ya kaigua atiri, oh, urioku yo, eh, no muradi diwega. If I start trying to have such a conversation with my father, it doesn't mature now. Because he loses memory like vile unaweza kuwa uligongesha radio, ukifika hapa ukikohoa inanyamaza. There are people who are such televisions in the house. Now imagine that is the state of my father right now. But the testimony that I have today, because I know some of us, we've been praised by God even in our families. Live alone how it is. It might be messy. Some of our homes could be domestic violence and it looks like a military field. I will take you somewhere! And everybody is shouting, you know, and there is no peace. And, 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 and to, to, to some extent, you attribute your failure in school to that. You know, I, I came to encourage you first and foremost to tell you that despite all that, God wants to use you to change the history of your family. Blessed be the name of God. God wants to use you to change the history of your family. And I'm speaking about this out of experience because when when my father and my mom got an accident, my mom was not too hard hit. But even in the first few couple of months, my mom would not really walk. He would not even able to use crutches, even a wheelchair. Alikuwa na inuliwa. Even nini? You know, the, 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 what do we call this? With the washrooms. So she was being taken care of. But I remember my father was so hit in the head that in the first few days, People who saw the wreckage of our car, they were saying those people are not alive. The truth is, according to them, they were saying that man is dead. They only want money to accumulate the bill so that they can make money out of it. But for me, I didn't believe it. And I, I thought, Lord, this is the time that you want to use me in a mighty way. And I started declaring by the stripes of Jesus, this man is healed. And I remember, I've never walked in an ICU before. Those who have had an opportunity, whether you it's you who was there or somebody that is your family, you know the ICU is very quiet. The only thing you hear is tick, 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 tick. And nobody is yelling. You know, sometimes you, 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 why are you forsaken? Why are you discouraged? 
people there don't yell and they are not dead. I'm not speaking about the world of the dead. I'm speaking of the world of people who are have lost their consciousness. So everything, nobody is even lifting a finger like this. You would think they are dead. Nobody. So I remember entering there and I was so scared. At first I couldn't play. But I started, I, I just closed their eyes. And that time you are entering, I see you alone because it was that time of Corona where they, 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 they couldn't allow crowds in the hospital. And I started calling God, God, God. And I remembered some scripture. Now I couldn't, I, I, I felt like I've been taken to another world. I am not seeing the dead. Uh, not, not the dead, but the people who are around there who are unconscious. And I felt so much power. And all of a sudden, I shouted until I controlled myself. God is not dead. But remember, I've been fed by people, even people who are coming to tell me, let us show you how you check whether somebody is dead. I didn't even check. Kuna mahali unambo uguze, machini, kuna vile unapaswa kuangalia. But I felt convinced. Through that prayer, I made it there. Through that faith, I felt convinced that the dad is surviving out of this. And indeed, he has survived. There are people who are coming to our, the things went, I took out the whole story short, things went over and over until the bill was six million. Until one time, the whole salary of myself, one month, could not afford a day in IC. I couldn't. And to cut the whole story short, God came, God sent people, God did mothers, marvelous, and God healed him. Because even though he's not completely healed, he's out of danger. Blessed be the name of God. And I feel even what will take him out of this world could be something else, not necessarily something to do with accident complications. And what am I driving at today? That you are the person to change the history of your family. If there are people who need help in your family, you might not bring money, but you have a big God. Ah, you didn't hear that. You may not have money, but you have a big God. Hallelujah. And you are not an idea of your father. You are not an idea of your mother. But you came from heaven with a mission on earth. And first mission I know is to change the history of your family. If there are things that are going on wrong, please engage your maker. Engage who decided that you come to this world. And you begin to open up your mind. And you see the greatest treasure, the greatest deliverance that he will do through you. Somebody say amen. Sounds like the way Jesus came. Mary did not know. Mary even sometimes could not accept the pregnancy. At first, he was saying no. And sometimes it's true, it happens. Some of our mothers, when we were caught in their womb, they were not ready for it. It looks like an accident. But I came to encourage you today. It is not an accident. Come on, tap your neighbor and tell them neighbor. It is not an accident that you are in this world. And some of us, we, live, we are living like it's an accident. You, are, you have to stop living like it's an accident. You start living. Unangia class. It's not an accident. Unangalia yose hesabu. It's not an accident. You, your hesabu, you can. It's not an accident that you are here. It's not a coincidence. I know we teach Sadifa in Swahili. Mambo mawili kupatana na hakuwa ya mepangwa. It's not coincidence. It is by design. It is by intentions of God that you are here. That you are even in this school. That you are even in that class. That even you are engaging with those classmates that you have. But tell your neighbor, you, you know neighbor. Sometimes you may look down upon a young mango tree. <laughs> but one day, that the mango tree will be big. But it will produce fruits. Some of us, it's only that we don't know what we can produce. But I want to tell you, we are all dead. And I'm not just encouraging you. This is not a... God designed you. God in his wisdom and his majesty decided that Wajiko will come at this time of history. He will not even come of that time of Vasco da Gama. He will not even come of that time of Mekatilili. 
he will come John Joroge you will come at this time Moniki you will come at this time because there is something God want to do in your life it's only that we know God and his word but given time and resources given capacity given this pain and character we can amount to something big we can amount to transformation of this world we can amount to deliverance of this world we can amount to the healing of this country we can amount to governors that will say no to all forms of corruption we can be doctors that will not allow our people die in the hospital we can be preachers that will bring the truth to the people of god we can be people of a difference we can show for the excellence of jesus christ I remember we used to sing I want to sing I want to sing I want to sing 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 I want to sing 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 I want to sing when people see me they see you Jesus you are here to shine tell your neighbor neighbor you are here to shine you are in the sagine to shine I don't know your village but if you come from Gezumu you are in Gezumu to shine you are in uh, there is a, 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 a village right there I used to be at some point called Karimamoro yes you are in Karimamoro to shine I don't know where you come from oh, but you are there to shine and you are also in your family to shine let us even go a bit deeper so i in rang account to sign yes and sign for jesus and sign with character and sign with integrity and sign with faithfulness oh when they talk about evil we shall talk about righteousness we sign when they are when they are doing all immorality or when they are taking lies and spirit we shall talk about the holy spirit we will sign of the holy spirit we will sign those who want to sign in evil they will be put to shame but those who hide their hand of god in the heart they shall always be shining hallelujah somebody give a shout to jesus Second Timothy Second Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7 If you want to shine the light of God has come He has already poured his light on you and now you have the capacity to shine Who said that a president cannot come out of this school Who said that a governor cannot come to this school Who said bishop would come this school? who said that a father who believes in the word of god cannot come out of this school who said a nay cannot come out of this school it is possible through those who trust in the name of god number 4 uh, the bible says i have fought the good fight i have finished the race i have kept the faith i repeat what were you ma i repeat say hallelujah i have fought the good fight say my good fight when you talk about the fight it's not a joke it's, it's not entertainment that you usually have i don't know you you have uh, entertainment on saturday fight good fight it is not bread any butter it is not make up <laughs> it is not dry and clean it is not something comfortable mm. 
this is not watching Arsenal Manu this is not watching Pape scoring this is not driving Arimozine it's not good fights number 2 i have finished the race the race when you are racing it is not easy but it is only the one who finishes that is guaranteed a gift i have finished the race the people who don't finish i came to encourage you that we must finish this life and finish it well but also when you are beginning to race the starting point is also very important sometimes if you start badly you might not win you might not even finish so i know in our race of life you are at the preliminaries the starting point and i want you to know that in this starting point of the race of your life the life history that you live where this particular portion will be written in your eulogy i want it to make sense when you be buried and i am not scaring you but i want to finish well i want by the time you die you die empty because like i have said there are hidden treasures in you that god has put but sometimes we might take them to the grave if you take anything good inside you to the grave then you not have finished the race i came to encourage you to let nothing put you out of the race of the purposes of god in your life and number 3 he says i have kept faith i have kept faith faith is kept yes you are born again but if you live carelessly you lose faith you are born again but if you allow lgbtq to take course in your head faith will call and you know the danger of losing faith is you can't move mountains the danger of losing faith there are things you cannot achieve with your own efforts there are things in life you not achieve because of having an a and i'm not discouraging you to have an a please go for it seriously quickly seriously ona ukarutaga igoti rimwe ukaugaga wekira thi jetereire mwalimu okay take what you need i no it's okay by the way it's good to be passionate unajua kuna watu wanaletoa hesabu uko na 06 badala ya ujia ni college unasema bora uhai but i don't want anybody in gishagine to lose faith you will watch some soap operas you will watch some movies you will access internet and go to pornographic sites and by the way your eyes will not close because you are born again <laughs> by the way when you get born again you don't lose any tool for sexual immorality you don't lose it you still have them so that means you need to live your life deliberately so that you don't lose faith there are many teachings that will come on your way to get you out of faith but i pray that you shall not be tossed to and fro by mademu wawapi by my lesbianism by my watu wanasema siju tu abudu mungu wawapi by my atheist who says anza kusema hakuna mungu nothing should get you out of faith nothing should get you out of please keep faith tell your neighbor keep keep <laughs> but let me briefly talk about the first one the first one this is paul speaking paul is speaking at a time when he feels he has done everything he ought to do but quickly just go to ecclesiastes 10 i wish we had time i want to finish and last to jeris right now uh so that we can also be with them and they also feel good like you are feeling are you feeling good for the lord unajua kuna watu mimi feel poor wakati ninajifanya makeup 
na feeling poa wakati na uchumu vipai kwanza nikiingia kufuta guy we man guy tiga we unaona jamaa anaanza kwenda hivi but things of god they don't put they don't have somewhere in your heart now i want you to feel good also as you listen to the word of god in fact the word of god is stable see dio ecclesiastes i wish we had more time we to ongea zaidi but i want us to cross psalms not psalms but ecclesiastes ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 the bible says whatever your hearts finds to do do it with all your might for in the realm of death ai <sighs> ai where you are going and don't think it's very far there is neither working no planning no knowledge no wisdom so out of this meeting i want us to fight a good fight and i have said the fighting is not when your parent is providing everything that you need yani uko na pesa zote za kumaliza tam yani hakuna mtu anakushort change no I want you to know all these battles that you go through whether it's luck whether people mocking you unajua kuna watu wanamkiwa mpaka kwa class sema unaenda kujibu kama kusema kitu nyamaza unaziura ameniuliza nini ameniuliza nini wase mimi mimi nimemfanyia shwari lakini umenyamazishwa i came to encourage you fight a good and fighting here does not necessarily mean in throwing fists it might mean even perseverance it might mean sometimes you'll be in the den of lion but the good thing god has promised in our battles they are not always us he is fighting for us but he will require us to have perseverance it will require us not to be discouraged mtu anakuja mbwa amekutusia nini do i look like a dog by the way usijiulize hivyo that's a fight but don't revenge don't abuse back but one day as they bury you they will say he she has fought a good fight those fights i'm talking about those who we shall say they have fought a good fight they didn't commit suicide sometimes paul is saying this after being in prison he has been taken to prison he has been chained he has been whipped but he persevered jesus is also a good example he was he died for a mission he fought a good fight at some point jesus wanted to quit going to mount olive guy mungu hapa unanicheza ba guy they don't want to go to the so romani guy jesus is discouraged what am i say there are people who you have gone through trouble you sit on a bed ata ujuangi vile machozi inatoka maybe you are a son of a single mother and you are wondering how did the father go and now i can see mama na job yeah need to struggle fight a good don't be discouraged isikusuiria kusoma fight a good i came to encourage you naona jamaa analala pale maybe unalala because of discouragement lakini usirale fight Ah this idea ni wase fight Unajua kuna watu wako discouraged they look na chana na mimi na padana na mtu wemo weka demo weka Fight a good one day we shall celebrate you 
and you see what's the tendency of Africans celebrating the death. No. Kama unataka kuinuliwa zaidi, they celebrate the death. But it's okay. But I want when they celebrate you, they will celebrate you first of all. Whatever you fight to do, you have done it. With all your might. Because where you are going, ukifa ni kurara. Hakuna kitu kingine unataka. Hakuna kusoma, hakuna kupori, hakuna kuamka mapema. Hakuna nini, hakuna kuchoka. But right now, let us fight. A good fight. Nimepata 06. This is a battle. I'll be waking up early. I'll be nitaji sukuma fighting ndio amenifukuza sina school fees i'm going home i'm carrying books nitaenda kusoma lakini hata mwenye alimelipa school fees nitamshinda i am fighting ah for that when i die indeed they will say that and i remember when i was going to the hospital looking for my incapacitated father weak pad at that time so so unconscious in the hospital and i knew i'll not get this courage even when i looked at the bill that it is now double my monthly salary i know this is a battle i will not quit fight good fight Number 2 He says when all is said and done I Paul have finished the race Now I want to let you know the race of your life Yes tunaingia tukiwa wengi tukiwa rende tuko wengi hata tuliingia kwa ile gate tuko wengi class wetu tuko wengi Lakini najua hata unakosa kumaliza assignment unaangalia waseni wangapi watu hujafanya hivyo alafu wengine hata wanakudanganya mwalimu akikuja aulize anybody who have not done here guys kile kile ni apia akijamaliza i came to let you know you have your own race and you have your own lane you have your own capacity don't compare yourself don't move with masses do what you feel it is right according to the lord in your lives some of us could be you study hard and the best you can afford let's say na umesoma umeweka mpaka gunia kwa miguu ama ni miguu kwa gunia ama ni maji kwa nini you try but things does not work don't be discouraged and don't stop trying because you are still fighting a good fight but at the same time don't look at others yani mwagi get the mamu no 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 kyo kira ashi yani you na need get to learn uko ko ana thi no akagotire kai no 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 don't go that way you have your own lanes you have your own lane and you not die the same day God has something different for your life. You have your own list. You even have your own way of studying. There are people who can wake up very early and do very well. Others they try that. You try there is a boy who was waking up at 3 because others are waking up. Then the whole day he spent sleeping. I called him and told him, "Don't you understand yourself? God could have made you different. Why don't you try studying?" And when he tried extending he realized he came and told me Mwalim that's it that's it Don't do because people are doing the majority don't don't always entertain democracy you know democracy is viewed to be the right thing but God has created you differently be in your own race but in your race I want you to finish Hallelujah And lastly he says that means Don't 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 always compare yourself with us. Don't always say the jamaa kona wazazi wazuri yani visiting zote na visitiwa. No 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 no. There could be something that God wants you to go through so that one day you will own a children home and you encourage others. Maybe your own scars are connected to your destiny. Are connected to the purposes of God in your life. Maybe Mungu anataka upitie hiyo ngumu ndio siku moja utakuwa a big cancer you have to understand 
And maybe that guy who has bully parents providing, they could be he has been called to another thing that would require somebody to have parents. Our purposes are not joined with, with so many other things, but what we are going through could be connected to our purposes. And what am I saying? Finish your own list. And pathos can make you quit. And you die prematurely. And pathos of sin can make you quit. Pathos of evil. Lastly, he says, I've kept faith. Whatever will come on your way, keep faith. Keep faith. Keep faith. Let's be on our feet. Our Lord and Savior, we worship you. We give you glory and we give you praise.